today we will discuss about sphere problem using particle swarm optimization so you can see the sphere function is represented as sum of x square where x is a vector okay let us see the implementation part this particle swarm optimization is available in pso package so better install it okay and after installation you can load the pso library after that our problem is to solve sphere function so you implement this function using r language the implementation is already seen so you have you take some function for that some function you pass x square so this statement represents sum sum of x square okay so the next statement is d is equal to 3 so here the dimensionality is taken as 3 so you uh, that means how many number of variables are there four variables are five variables like that how many variables are there that you can specify and then uh, this algorithm you have to specify the max number of iterations let us say for example 10 iterations i want to execute this program and finally s yes, is equal to 3 this represents the population size s yes, represents the population size since it is a particle swarm of this optimization we will call it as a swarm size okay swarm size okay for each variable you can have the population size as 3 so the, after defining the population size next thing is you define the control list parameters control list parameters so here you use the list function and pass on the arguments one by one so trace is by default is equal to 1 and then specify the max number of iterations specify the max number of iterations specify report is equal to some value because for each iteration for you have to report the value that means uh, how to output all the statistical parameters and finally these are the default ones trace dot stats is equal to 1 and s is equal to s means uh, the swarm size you have to define in the list once you define it you can call this particle swarm optimization algorithm ps optim the first argument this is by default here we have taken the dimensionality as 3 so as you take this not applicable function you can see this it is a vector actually it is a vector defining the dimensionality of the problem so just for compatibility issues with the optim package uh, they have included this first argument so you can put the na not applicable and then pass the spear function that means a evaluation function specify the lower range of vector and upper range of vector and then control list parameters so here in between minus 5 to 5 we are going to search the uh, minimum value okay we are going to find out the minimum value so here also this ps4 uh, by default it will perform the minimization task so you have to pass the sphere function the lower range vectors and upper range of vectors we are going to search in between minus 5 to 5 for all variables okay so here three variables are taken here and the swarm size is 3 also we have taken and the control list parameters we have uh, taken after that uh, we can plot uh, the values the populations for all the parameters and the code for this is represented is here you can go through this here x lab x label and y labels are given and also uh, the values for each 
variable is plotted for different populations and the output for this code we will see. Similarly, similarly this code is for plotting the swamps for first variable, this is for second variable, this is for third variable. Just you have to change the value j is equal to 1, 2, 3 and after that finally you can also plot uh, the fitness value with respect to the uh, fitness value with respect to the iterations best fitness value with respect to the iterations that you can calculate let us uh, see and finally you can find the best value so let us execute one by one so first let us load the function and then sphere function and then dimensionality maximum number of iterations swarm size we we executed the now we will execute the control list parameters and then we will call the PSO optimization. So, 10 iterations are executed. Now we will plot, uh, now we will plot the swarms for first parameter. So, now you can see this is the first parameter for first iteration. Similarly, we are having 10 iterations. So, let us execute remaining 10 iterations. Okay. Now we got for 10 iterations the S1 value. This is the first parameter how it changes. You can see you have to see vertically. Okay. For first iteration, the S1 parameters swarm is 4 something around 5 0 minus 2. Okay, minus 2. For second iteration, S1 parameter is uh, I think 2, 0, and minus 1. So, you have to see vertically for 10 iterations, this is the values that are fixed. Similarly, now we will run for second parameter. For second parameter, what is the population? How the population changes? So, for second parameter, first iteration, this is the plot. For remaining iterations, let us execute, it is taking time. And then so for third iterations you can see the population how it varies over different iterations and finally the best value so you can see uh, this plot you can see we are seeing the fitness value over different iterations so best fitness value with respect to all iterations you can see have the number of iteration progress on you are getting the minimum value the algorithm converges to minimum value you can see the decrease and finally if we execute the this is your optimum value so this is the dimensionality we have taken and this corresponding fitness value so this is a minimum value you got this is the optimum solution we got so you can see these figures also. S1, S2, S3. Okay, students. You can note it down and you can see analyze the results.